because of that was maybe something, maybe some guys on the team had brought up that maybe prior quarterbacks didn't want that role. They wanted to just be one of the guys. But at your position, you have to be the leader. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, you play quarterback, it's just the automatic role you have to play. Uh, you know, some guys play it different than others. And, uh, you know, the guys we had last year, they, they both played their role very well. And, uh, you know, they just, you know, led in their different ways. But, uh, you know, just for me, it's just, it was, uh, you know, getting the team to rally around me and, uh, you know, really be excited about me and, uh, you know, this season. Locally, Chase Claymore, young man from right up the road yeah. here in Thibodeau. Uh, Ed White, Ed White, man, you got the, you got a gig now. Good. Uh, your feelings on how much Chase can bring to the table? Chase had a good uh, summer off season uh, conditioning. Uh, you know, he's just got to keep working, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll get some plays and uh, get him the ball. So, running game's going to be big. I know. Last keep saying we're going to throw the ball a lot, but you know that big offensive line, that hey. quartet of running backs. He wants to run the ball. I mean. So you got six running backs back there, and you know, Schmaltz offensive lineman is 320 pounds. I mean, you're going to run the ball, or you're going to do what uh, you know you have to do to win, and uh, you know, I have no problem doing that. Exactly. How is your you get out of coming to, to the Madden Castle? Uh, you know, for me, the biggest thing, you know, just relationships. Uh, you know, there's a lot of guys here that you know are going to be playing football for a long time, and I mean, the Mannings are here. It's just it's a learning experience to to learn from two of the best. I mean, that they got. What three Super Bowl championships in their family and on Hall of Fame dad, Cooper's pretty pretty talented too. But uh, no, it's just uh, to come out here and have fun and uh, you know teach the kids something and also learn something. Have you had a chance to pick the Manning's brains about uh, position or anything? Uh, a little bit. Uh, you know, it's kind of tough because you know they're they're all over the place. You know, with kids and uh, you know other counselors as well. But you know, both of them are really laid back guys, and uh, it's it's been an experience to get to meet them. You speak of your relate to the kids that you. Uh, today, me and uh, Western Michigan's quarterback Alex Carter, we taught uh, screen passes today, so that was our big thing. But uh, you know, we're just teaching the kids, you know, about leadership of the position and uh, you know what they got to do every day to become a good quarterback. You talked about relationships. Do you have a relationship with AJ? I'm sure fans don't want to see you all standing next to each other chit chatting, but do you all talk? And what do you talk about? I mean, you know, a lot of us have known each other since high school, you know, going through camps with each other. Uh, I've known AJ since, you know, our junior high school. So, uh, you know, a lot of us go way back and, uh, you know, I know he plays for Alabama and everything, but, you know, we're still good friends and, I mean, we don't really talk about much, just, you know, daily chit-chat, you know, small talk. Zach, how much confidence is this for you? Oh, a lot. Uh, you know, you know it's, it's more for the fans to show that, you know, we are capable of throwing the ball around. Uh, but, uh, you know, it was just it was fun to go out there and, uh, you know, be the guy and, uh, you know, just toss it around the yard in the uh, entire stadium. It's extremely high. I mean, any guy we put out there, they're going to make plays for us. Uh, you know, from Odell Beckham to Paul Turner all the way down the list. I mean, we got athletes out there. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very excited to see what they're capable of doing this year. It's been kind of, a, I guess, a long journey, it's fair to say, for you to get to being a starting quarterback in, in, in the SEC. When you take the field as the starter, can you have you thought about what it's going to feel like or the emotions or, you know, what, what you've gone through to get to that point? Uh, I mean, for me, it's going to be, uh, you know, kind of a, a sigh of relief. I mean, finally, you know, go out there and do what I love to do and uh, finally get to play, uh, you know, big-time college football. Were there points in that journey where you never thought, you know, thought there would never be a chance you'd be you know, a couple days away from representing LSU and, and the media days and, you know, being here, things like this? Oh, for sure. I mean, there, there's always, you know, you know, the doubts that I had, you know, growing up and, uh, you know, through you know, everything that's happened in the past. But, you know, just, you know, staying strong and uh, keeping a level head has really helped me out through this whole process. <laughs> when you're throwing against LSU's defense every day, I mean, is it, do you wonder, like, if that's really where you are, considering you know that their defense might be better than a lot that you'll throw against this year. I mean, it's a that's the best practice we can have. I mean, going against you know Tyron, Thurl Simon, having Sam Montgomery and Parkevius Mingo rush me. I mean, that's the best practice I can get because you know, they're top defense every year. And uh, you know, if I can do well against those guys in practice, uh, I'm sure I can do pretty well in the games. By the same token, if they intercept you, you don't get too, dem too demoralized. I mean, or sometimes they just make a freakish <laughs> play, and that that happens. So. Yeah. To LSU? Oh yeah, um, I'm very excited about the opportunity, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm I'm ready for the for the journey. Taylor Wilson say about this team, not one senior, you know, heading to Hoover, a lot of young guys. Oh, uh, I mean, it's just I mean, we don't have a lot of seniors on our team this year. Uh, you know, that doesn't mean we don't have good senior leadership. We do. Uh, 
Yeah, I think this this year they wanted to get guys that represented LSU and you know represented them well. And uh, yeah, that's not knocking any other guys who could have gone, but the, the guys that we have going are are going to be good representation of our school. How has your memory of being on the sideline in the Superdome sat with you up until this point? You know, I mean, is that is that something that stays with you and motivates you? Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's something that no one wants to experience. I mean, shoot. Tom Brady's won three Super Bowls, but he's also lost three Super Bowls or something like that. But uh, it, I mean, it, it, it's tough. You don't ever want to do that again. But uh, you know, hopefully, we can uh, be every bit as good as we were last year and get back to that game and win it. You personally didn't get to play. Is what I'm saying. Like, yeah. So like, you had to watch it. I mean, yourself. It, I mean, it was tough. As a competitor, you want to play. But uh, I mean, the two guys we had were playing good football. They were being efficient quarterbacks all year, and shoot, we were 13 at the time. You know, it's hard to say. You know, what it could have should have if I played, something would be different, but, you know, the time is, is best for the team. Were you ready to play? Oh, without a doubt, uh, you know, I, I was very, you know, sure of myself and, uh, you know, I thought I was capable of uh, leading the team, but, uh, you know, we had two senior guys who played a lot of SEC football. They won a lot of football games, so, uh, you know, we were going to roll with them and, you know, we had a great season. What's it feel like to be the guy? Uh... You know, it's, it's got it's uh, good and bad. It's kind of tough going out to a restaurant somewhere in Baton Rouge. Uh, but uh, other than that, I mean, it's great. Uh, I enjoy the limelight, the spotlight, and uh, you know, I'm just really looking forward to the season to get started.